So uh, the 2009 U.S. Chess Championships are happening here at the Chess Club, May 7th through the 17th, part of our kickoff series. Uh, Jennifer, you played a simul against a whole bunch of kids uh, at the Science Center. It was really difficult. It was one of the most difficult simuls I've ever played. I had a tough time against a five-year-old, Jason, who was incredibly talented. I played uh, one of the top women players from the club, Margaret Wah. And also, I lost a few games, including one to another young player, Kevin. Yeah. So yeah, it was a really tough time. I was there for over four hours, and everybody played so well. They were all members of the chess club in the Scholastic Center of St. Louis. I don't think I had one easy game. What would you say was, is the toughest part about something like that? Just the stamina of having to play twenty-six people at the same time, or just a tough competition? It was a really tough competition. There wasn't one game that wasn't tough for me. And that's what made this time so much tougher because they were all members of the Chess Club and Classic Center of St. Louis. So it was clear they'd been boning up on their game. I know they've been practicing playing against you especially, I bet. Yeah, hopefully some of these kids, you know, will be in the U.S. Championship one day, right? Yeah, that'd be great. It would be. <laughs> um, the Arts and Transit event was a lot of fun. Um, they brought a, a bus, a city bus down to the Chess Club and we got to paint it and all the kids came out from the community and it was a big block party kind of. We had some live music and some snacks. Pretty fun. Well, that's great because now the bus is going to be driving around for a whole year. That's right. And people are going to see it and come out here and play jazz, right? Exactly. So, um, can you tell me a little bit about the championships coming up? Are you excited about those? I am so excited about the championship. I mean, this is the first time in a few years that we've had the top two players in the country playing in the championship. Yeah. Got a camp ski and Hikaru Nakamura. Those are two out of the 24 players confirmed to play here, which include local players and a 14 year old. Yeah, we've got so, defending champion Yuri Shulman, we've got Charles Lawton who's the local guy, Ray Robson's that youngster that you mentioned just there, so it's, uh, it's going to be a pretty interesting time to see what happens. And I think this is the first time I've ever heard about something, there's a $64,000 prize for anybody who gets 9 out of 9. Yeah. This is in honor of Fisher who scored a perfect score in 1964. And the founder of the club, Rex Sinkfield, is a huge Fisher fan, so he just came up with this idea, and you know, it's, it's a great one. I think a couple of the players are going to be going for all wins just to try to get that prize. It's going to be pretty fun to kick this off also. On May 7th, we've got the event over at uh, St. Eustace University Museum of Art. Um, we've got a big opening ceremony there where the players get to draw their colors, and I know they've come up with some pretty creative ways how they're going to do that, so that should be a lot of fun. Um, and then, of course, the rounds start on May 8th, so... Uh, one round a day, May 8th through the 17th, and then we've got a champion at the end of it, right? Well, I'll tell you what, Jennifer, it looks like you're beating me pretty enough on the board here, and it uh, looks like we've got all the details for the championship down, so how about I just resign? <laughs> Thanks for the game. <laughs>